With the release of Gliss Firmware version 2, a free update for all Gliss modules, we have a host of new features, two of which we'll talk about in this patch. I'll be demonstrating this patch using Gliss in the new 1U orientation, and Gliss is now available everywhere as a 1U unit, but you can modify a Gliss you already have by upgrading your firmware and purchasing a 1U faceplate from shop.bella.io. So, the two new features we're talking about in this patch. The first one is called Slider Plus Touch, and it is a new configuration for the touch strip, which divides the bottom part into a little pad here, which is gonna trigger an envelope. And we also have this strip here, which is controlling various timbre parameters. So, it's not necessary to use Slider Plus Touch in this way, but I wanna be able to use the pad down the bottom here to trigger envelopes and advanced sequences. Now previously that wouldn't have been possible because you needed to keep your finger on the touch strip to keep a recording going. I need to take it off and on. So before you could use the clock playback in record mode to do this, but now you can use it in record whenever you need it. So to activate recording discrete gestures, I'm gonna hold the touch strip and press the button. and I'm using that to trigger an envelope. Press the button, and now we're looping around. Now I'm gonna do that for the other gliss. Hold the pad, press the button, and now I'm advancing a pair of sequences. And you can see the parameters changing here on these two signal mode glisses. Press the button, and now that's looping around. And then I'm just using the two touch strips in the normal continuous mode so I can reach out and control various timbre parameters. Like this. Take my fingers off. So maybe you can see now why it makes sense to show slider and touch and the ability to record discrete gestures at the same time, because now we're able to take our finger off the strip and continue recording, which is perfect for things like triggering envelopes or advancing sequences. But you can also use the pad as a touch sensitive surface. It doesn't just have to be creating gate outputs, but this is how we've shown it to you today.